Hey family, welcome back to the Calibrate Tools and DIY channel. Today we're gonna to explore the world of welding. And I've been welding for a little bit now, and let me tell you, most of the time you're not even welding, you're fixing something. Stuff is breaking down, stuff is getting stuck in the machine, you name it, things always happen. So today we're gonna to look at welding wire feed problems, okay? And if you don't know what that is, stick around and we'll show you what it is right after this. <music> guys this is a, a common not so common welding issue here the uh, this is the spool of wire MIG wire and sometimes the wire gets stuck in the drive rollers here okay it, it, it's, it's, it gets stuck and it breaks off so you have to repair that so what I'm gonna do now is uh, get in there so I can take the wire out and re-spool it okay so I'm gonna take these off Okay guys, you see that? That's a that's a mess right there. That shouldn't be happening, okay? That wire should be going straight through the liner into the MIG gun itself, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take this off and uh, grab the gun here. So what I'm gonna do is unscrew this, okay? Unscrew the nozzle. Then I'm gonna take the contact tip off. So I have to get all this wasted wire that's stuck in the liner, I have to get that out. So I'm gonna grab a, a pliers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the excess wire out of the liner here, get it out of the liner. So I'm going to take the pliers. Okay. Get it out of there. Okay. By the way, uh, you may want to turn your power off when you're doing this stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. to be on the safe side, guys, anytime you're working with electricity, electrical equipment, turn the power off. All right. So now I want to re-spool this uh, wire into the machine and put it back in the liner, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this out of here Pull that messed up wire out. Probably could have cut it in there, but I'll I'll pull it out. Guys, very important. When you cut the wire, don't cut behind where you're holding because if you cut behind where you're holding, this whole thing is gonna unspool and you're gonna have a bunch of wasted wire you can't use. Okay, so always cut in front of where you're holding the wire. clean cut there. So what we're going to do is, let's get down here, we're going to insert the wire back in here. And if you notice on the drive roller, they have these grooves here, okay? We want to put it on the groove that it was in before, all right? And we want to feed it into this, this slot there, and we're going to feed it in back into the liner. Okay, feed it in like that. Now, now we got enough in for it to hold. We're gonna put this back on. Screw it back on. Now that you have the wire fed back in, you want to put the second drive roller down. Tighten it up a bit. Now we're going to turn the machine back on. Take it 
take our gun, start feeding the wire. fed through. Now what we want to do is, okay, we have the wire stuck onto this contact tip. Uh, we may need a new contact tip. Uh, that's melted on there. So guys, unfortunately, the wire got stuck and melted on this contact tip here, so we had to replace it, okay? So we took it off. Now we're going to put a new one on here, onto the nozzle. We just slip it over the wire like that. Okay, now we can put this back on. And we should be good to go. We want to cut the wire down to size, right? We want to cut it about maybe half an inch. Okay, one. There you go, guys. Ready to weld. Okay, so guys, if you're gonna get into welding, be prepared to troubleshoot your butt off, okay? That's just how it is. Hey, if you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button and share the content. I'll see you next time.